Hill say they are flying high after learning how to operate a drone with laser detection today. The students are spending their spring break studying to become FAA certified drone pilots. CBS 8's Heather Hope shows us how these high tech lessons will prep the girls for their next project this fall. Many of the young women here at the Elementary Institute of Science already knew about drones and some even had their drone certification. Now next they'll take their skill set to new heights by learning how drones can create 3D images. Lifting off this light detection and ranging drone. So let's go forward and backwards. Okay. Give it a shot. <laughs> okay. High school senior Cheyenne Smith was able to land the $60,000 drone on her own. But we're used to flying small DJI, so they're about this big. Um, so this was huge. <laughs> yeah. A couple dozen San Diego female high school students are in the Girls Take Flight program at the Elementary Institute of Science near Marketing Euclid during their spring break. These girls are going to put in a lot of time and effort. They're here for this week, uh, spending about 30 hours being introduced to the world of drones. The girls will become FAA certified drone pilots, which will prep them for a nine month program in November, part of our genetic legacy. They will map and survey the Julian Pioneer Cemetery with drones. There's some confusion in terms of the location of where some of those who are interred there. So we're gonna be hoping to use the LIDAR and other geospatial equipment to recover those locations. They'll also create a virtual memorial of the Harrison Serenity Ranch, 67 acres of the former home of Nate Harrison, San Diego County's first black homesteader. How many of you guys made three-dimensional models of a building? All right, we got a place to start here. <laughs> Dan Huber, the CEO of MODIS, or Mapping Operations Data Unmanned Solutions, is the program's drone instructor. Now we're going to do this in San Diego here, where we're able to do full restoration of the buildings and potentially archaeological sites under the vegetation. The girls will also learn from female aerospace engineers of color. We are creating the next emerging technology leaders. Cheyenne says her drone knowledge has been life changing. I think that we're always pushed to become lawyers or doctors, which is great. But I think I like that they expose us to different career paths. Heather Hope, CBS 8.